3 gigs of hotspot data? How about 300 gigs of hotspot data? This time on Hack 5. Hey everyone, Glitch here. We're going to try a new format. This is called Glitch Tips. It's going to be a detailed look at a very simple subject. I want to be able to provide more information in a shorter period of time on a given subject than I've been able to do before, and this is that. So this particular episode is inspired by a comment left on one of my modem mod videos. A lot of people wanted to know how to do something like that, but with a cheaper or more readily available device. Whether that's a USB modem or, well, your phone, you know, because we all have one of these, and a lot of us have hotspot data plans included with our service. In this case, I'm on a provider that has 3 gigs of hotspot data. Now, we all know how hackers are. 3 gigs isn't enough for any of us. So I'm going to show you how to do a similar trick to the one I did on my modem, but for a phone. Now, unless you run a rooted device, you can't actually do this on the phone. It has to be done on a connected device. Now, this limits us to Windows, Linux, and, uh, well, Mac OS machines. I don't know how to do this on connected Android devices, on Chromecasts, or anything else, but what you can do is do the same trick we're about to do. However, you can then use your Windows machine to rebroadcast that Wi-Fi so that you can now use your Windows machine and connect all of those devices to it and then the Windows machine to the Android device, if that makes sense. I'm actually probably going to make that a second video because that kind of goes against the whole context of glitch tips. This is about one subject and that is making your phone a unlimited hotspot device for one connected device. In this case, we're looking at a Windows box. Now, for those of you who have been following along, you know that I've been using my phone for everything productivity. Programming, CAD, uh, video editing, recording, all of that. These days, my Windows machine is purely for gaming because I like playing Windows games with friends. However, I still need to be able to download game updates, which will easily blow through 3 gigs. Thank you, Activision. So this is a pretty simple trick. As you can see, we're connected to HOM, which in this case is my hotspot that my phone is providing. Now, you open a command prompt, run it as admin... Actually, let me zoom in here real quick. And then you type in net sh int ipv4 set globe default cur hop limit 65. And you should get OK. Now, just to be thorough, we're going to set this on the IPv6 range as well. It, this may not be required, but it doesn't do any harm. Okay, and there you go. Your Windows machine will now always have a TTL uh, or a time to live. Thank you, everyone, for telling me I got that wrong. Uh, of 65, and you're now accomplishing the same thing we did back in the modem videos. And that's all there is to it. Now, you don't have to change this back to connect to a standard router uh, or any other device because you can, you, in most situations, you will never run into an issue running this configuration. However, if for some reason you did need to change it back, all you have to do is IPv4 set globe default cur hop limit to 128. That is the Windows default, and then you can also do it on IPv6. And you're back to normal. Run some speed tests real quick, just to compare the difference between using this and not using this. I've made sure to exhaust all three gigs of my high-speed data so that the network is only allowing me 128 kilobits or 600 kilobits per second, depending on your provider. However, as you can see, I am now getting more than 600 kilobits per second. And I've successfully used this trick in the past to download 300, 400 gigs a month, month to month, with not even so much as an email or a letter or anything. Because as far as the service provider is concerned, it's coming from my phone. Like as if I'm downloading just a bunch of stuff on my phone. So there you go. Now, just to be a little more thorough, you can also use a VPN. This will prevent your network provider from even seeing the addresses you're going to, because in some cases, certain providers will use that to determine whether you're on a Windows box or something because your user agent is being sent through too. However, if it's all just appearing as HTTPS traffic as if it's going through a VPN, they aren't any the wiser. However, that's not required. I have not used a VPN 99% of the time I've done this trick.
Anyway, that's all there is to it. Like I said, this was just a quick little glitch tip. Uh, if you want to see more of these in the future, make sure to leave a comment down below. If you have any quick tips you want to see, uh, whether that's in how I do some of my productivity stuff on my phone or something else, make sure you leave a comment and I will be checking those. Thank you all. I've been Glitch. This has been Hack5. Glitch out. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.